Are you feeling lost trying to figure out the best online community platform for your online course or your training-based membership site? I'm gonna hook you up in this video and we're gonna cut through all the chaos and lay out a series of options so that you can easily choose the best online community slash social learning platform for your course or membership site. My name's Chris Badgett. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Lifter LMS. I'm a huge community builder and I've been in this industry for about a decade. So my job here is to condense a decade worth of experience into this short video to help you select for you and your specific needs of your project, the best online community software for what you're trying to do. And be sure to stay at the end of this video. I'm gonna share an exclusive resource with you that's gonna help you not just choose the best community software, but choose other essential tech tools for your project. So let's jump right into it. So I'm the CEO and co-founder of Lifter LMS. Lifter LMS is an all-in-one learning management system for WordPress. It also includes a social learning add-on which allows you to build a Facebook-like community on your website. And uh, here we are just looking at the member directory and we can go into individual profiles. Um, there's a timeline view where students can talk to each other and set up their profiles and they can kind of navigate the um, <clears throat> website and build out their profile, connect with other users, and kind of have a similar experience to what it's like on Facebook, but on your WordPress website that you use and control. For this one to work, you need to have Lifter LMS installed and the Lifter LMS social learning add-on. The next option, which is really great, is called Buddy Boss. This is a group that made a theme for Lifter LMS, and there is the Buddy Boss plugin that creates an incredible um, social learning type experience as well. It's similar to the one that Lifter LMS makes. Theirs is a little more closely aligned with what Facebook is in terms of having friends and private messaging and things like that. Uh, I've got an example uh, set up. Let me just click this where we can get a demo site to play with. But essentially, uh, the Buddy Boss social learning platform, you know, looks, looks a certain way and you can, uh, my, my advice when you're working with it is if this is what, if you like what you're seeing and you're like 95 to 100% satisfied uh, and you're not going to want to like tweak a bunch of stuff and change a bunch of things and it looks pretty good to you out of the box is um, you can go ahead and just roll with this option. Um, and, and then just go with it. Uh, and they provide a lot of great features as well. Um, you know, you can see I'm inside a Lifter LMS powered course here. So this is a lesson with a Lifter LMS powered assignment. Uh, Buddy Boss is a gorgeous theme and the Buddy Boss uh, plugin or platform they call it provides a lot of awesome community, uh, community features as well. So check those out and uh, just drop a comment down below if you have any questions about the, the, these two options. Another option around community is by using the popular BB Press plugin. So this is more of a forum solution. So it's the, I kind of differentiate social type solutions like the Lifter LMS um, social, like here's the timeline view and time goes on and, and things pass. But with a forum, what ends up happening is you end up collecting uh, and curating certain topics and threaded conversations. It'll likely be around for years. So on this uh, website right here as an example, you can see over here, um, I've just started to set up some forums on this community site. So it's using Lifter LMS social learning for the kind of the Facebook-like community, but I've also got the uh, BB Press forums setting that up as well. The next option is called Buddy Press. This is one of the original social learning uh, or social media, but powered on your WordPress website projects out there. Buddy Press has a, um, a great history of developing, you know, a lot of these, these Facebook-like experiences like groups, private messaging, friendships, uh, activity feeds, similar to the Facebook wall. Uh, so this is a great solution as well. If you look inside of the Lifter LMS settings, if you're using Lifter LMS to power your online courses or your training-based membership site, you'll notice that included in the free core Lifter LMS plugin, there's a built-in BB Press and Buddy Press integration. 
That means if you choose to use either of these two tools, which are also free, you know, BB Press for forums, Buddy Press for the social network, um, that's a free solution there. And now access to these forums and, and the social stuff can be tied to certain enrollments and certain courses or memberships powered by Lifter. So they're deeply integrated there as well. Um, the next area I like to focus on is kind of uh, often overlooked. So here I am on a lesson. This could happen at a course level. Uh, and you'll notice there's a conversation happening in the comments below a lesson. So sometimes in an online community, um, the, the community forums in places like YouTube comments or in uh, Instagram comments, or in this case, uh, in a learning management system uh, on a lesson. And you can even call the user in the lesson content to leave a comment to engage in the discussion below. So even just simple commenting, which comes naturally to uh, many WordPress based products like Lifter LMS and the Wor WordPress core itself with blogging and everything. Comments are a great way to build community as well. Uh, the next thing I do recommend is a Facebook group. So Lifter LMS has a Facebook group. Uh, we've got one here with almost 8,000 members in it as of this recording. Um, this is a, a great way to build community and you kind of have these choices of building a community that's kind of not included in some kind of paid offer or only community is available in the paid offer or you do a hybrid of both or have you know different versions of the community depending upon the customer status of the customer the thing i love about facebook love it or hate it is that um a lot of people are already on it already using it um you know they get the notifications they check in on it regularly they know how to drive it they've got the app on their phone and so on so facebook is a popular uh way to have community and to set one up quickly you know the risk of course here uh unlike going with the solution like lifter lms social learning is that uh you don't own the platform you're building so you're building everything on facebook and facebook could one day decide to you know, remove your access to your community or delete your community. Whereas if you have it on your website that you own and control, you have ongoing access and control. There's also some great apps out there like circle.so, um, which is sort of creates a lightweight version of Facebook, but in an app, it's not on WordPress. It's, you don't have it. This is uh, what we call a SaaS or software as a solu service solution. Uh, but but there are ways, one of the cool things about Circle, and the reason I add it to the list, there's a couple others out there. There's another one named Tribe. But um, on their middle plan here, they have um, single sign-on with WordPress. This just, this just makes it easy. So even though like you have a menu item on your, your menu that says community, it can link over to this app, uh, this web app, and they also have a mobile app version and people are instantly logged in. So that single sign on is a really important feature if you are gonna use a separate tool and uh, you, it, you don't have to get all complicated with controlling access to the community. There's kind of built-in integrations with the WordPress site. Um, Discourse is also a popular third-party uh, forum software. So that's definitely one to check out. Um, uh, they just check out their pricing. Um, it's a, it's more of a standalone forum software, but it works great. Uh, I believe there's also some single sign on solutions with WordPress. So if you want a forum, but you don't want it on your website using BB press, check out discourse. Another popular one is called, um, vanilla, uh, forums. So check that one out as well. Uh, this is another kind of freestanding um, forum-based solution. And um, if we pull up some shots here, you can see kind of how you like you create forums around different topics. It has a nice search functionality built in if you're gonna have a lot of discussions and that kind of thing. Vanilla is just known as a popular solution. The last one I'm gonna give you is called Discord which is kind of a newer school way of having uh, an online community. Some people call it a Discord server. This is an up and comer, uh, pretty popular 
uh, especially in, in different uh, niches to, to have a, uh, it's like a, a, an app that you could be on multiple Discord servers uh, based on the communities you wanna be a part of. This one's definitely growing in popularity. And then the last one I wanted to share with you, also a little counterintuitive, is using Zoom. Even the act of opening up a Zoom room that you don't prepare for to have something like office hours or to provide a space for people to come and work together, kind of like a study hall or implementation sessions. Uh, even just using a Zoom room can create the aspects of community. Um, so really, I would encourage you when you build a course or training-based membership site to not just uh, you know, design and figure out the content or your information product, the lesson videos and all that stuff. It's also important if you're going to have a community piece to, to consciously design um, the experience and the type of community you want to build, whether that's a forum, a social uh, network, is that going to kind of live on your WordPress site or do you want to put it on Facebook or do you want to put it on another application and uh, maybe think about some of the more subtle forms of community like uh, Zoom rooms and lesson and course and membership, members only comment areas. If you have any questions about any of that, before you ask them in the comments down below, smash that like button on your way down there. Uh, and I've linked up everything that I've presented to you today about building an online community, a social learning experience with your online course or training based membership site. So if you wanna kind of revisit, slow down and kind of check out these main core options that I'm presenting for you today, there's links to all that down below. Also down below, is the resource I told you about at the beginning of the video. It's called the WordPress LMS Buyer's Guide. Go ahead and click the link over to that and download your copy so that you can learn the most important questions to ask to pick the best tech stack for your online course or training-based membership site. It'll save you massive time, massive money, massive headache. And I wanna thank you for checking out this video. I, again, I really appreciate it. Smash that like button, share this video with a friend, drop a comment down below. And uh, I want to encourage you to keep learning, keep taking action. There's a course inside all of us, and I'll see you in the next video.